Hello beautiful, strong, happy and healthy people. I'm on my way to do my fourth colonic experience. I haven't done one now for about three, four months and I'm really starting to feel the itch to go get another one. I had three done in a row, one week apart and I absolutely loved it. It sounds weird but I do love them and I'm gonna go get another one done right now. This is number four and I'm gonna tell you guys after my experience exactly how it works and what I did. So I'm going to head off. I'm not going to show you guys inside the clinic room because it is a little bit, um, a bit too much, um, a little bit intrusive. As you guys know that the gut bacteria is so important. It's something that scientists are really just starting to touch on today. We know more about the gut in the last five years than we have known in the last 50 years of science. So we're starting to understand that it's so important to keep that the good bacteria in your gut nice and strong and get rid of the candida and all the bad bacteria. So I find clinics is a really good way to do this. So there's two different types of clinics. There's a closed and an open clinic. I do the open clinic. The closed clinic is you go into a room by yourself, you set it up and you're pretty much on an open table and it flushes water up your rectum and flushes out all the crap now that one literally flushes all the crap out of your body and that one i don't find is as effective it's good if you're suffering things like constipation it's a little bit cheaper i find it a little bit yuckier as opposed to when i do the open clinic now with the open clinic you are in there with another person they do put the tube up there for you and they're the one that has control over the water and they're filling up your stomach and flushing the water out so the difference is that we're only tr with the open clinic the goal is to get rid of all the built up plaque that is on the inside of your large intestine so your large intestine has its walls and over time you actually get built up stuff on the outside so when you're in the open clinic you're actually not flushing, flushing out all the crap um, until the end so you don't see that coming out so the place I go to I actually have a TV in front of me uh, which people think is gross but I quite enjoy it and you can see what's coming out of the tube so like I said, it's not crap. You get things like mucus, you get a lot of like built up stuff. So you can see with the water, the stuff that sinks to the bottom that's like dark, that's the built up plaque that you really want to get out of your system and you want to get out of your gut as quick as possible. And then you can see some of the newer floaty stuff. And if you have like a bad diet, you can kind of see that coming through as well. With colonics, it does take a few sessions to really get the effect of it because it takes time to kind of soak whatever is going on in your large intestine. So I'm just going to talk you guys through the process of what to expect if you guys decide to go do one of these, which I totally recommend you guys doing. So you go into a room. I go to a place in called Bottoms Up in West End, which I find amazing. You don't want to cheap out on something like this because it is a risky thing, like in a way that are flushing a large amount of water up your large intestine. And you don't want to go to a place that's quite tacky. You want someone that's quite professional and knows exactly what they're doing. So... You get changed, you go to the bathroom, you come lay on the table, they um, get you to relax, they stick a tube up your butt, it doesn't hurt, it's quite small, and then you lay down, relax, and they start just flushing water in slowly, you don't really feel it, and then over time they flush in a lot of water, flush it out, flush in, flush it out, then they get to a point where they flush a lot of water in, you try and take as much as you can, the lady that I go to massages the water around my stomach to make sure it fills up as much as I can, and then we flush out as much of the crap as possible which again it's not literally the crap it's the built-up plaque that we're trying to get out and then at the end it's just about 45 minute process you go to the bathroom you flush everything else out and you feel really really surprisingly good so I've done three before I think three in a row is a really good one unless you have like a really bad bloating or really bad leaky gut or really bad acne like something else that you know that your gut needs a huge detox I think three in a row one is not enough but three is a good number so I did three just before Christmas and they recommend about every three to six months having a tune-up and I started getting a weird um, pain in my lower abdomen and I've just been craving to like needing to go to get another one and after my first session the pain literally totally went away. This time I got some, so every time you go you get kind of something different and having the TV there is really good because you get kind of, you get to experience the process a little bit more and this time I got some really long thick like plaque that's been stuck there for god knows how many years living in asia for so long with all the toxins having a very like oil based diet with all like the fried food over there and then trying to you know get used to eating healthy and um all the bad things i've eaten in the past so all the toxic load just kind of coming together 
So I had that first session, I've got another one on Thursday which I'm really looking forward to, I'm trying a different lady which should be good and I'm curious to see what else I get out of this because my first experience, by the third session I knew I was done. This one I feel pretty done but I am curious to see what else can come out. So these sessions aren't really cheap, they range from about 100 to 120 dollars. You can buy packets to get them a little bit cheaper. Some people do them really regularly like weekly, I don't recommend doing it weekly because you can it can disrupt your bowel movements and you don't want to do that. You want to make sure your body knows how to go to the toilet itself and how to not rely on it being flushed out by water. So that's pretty much my experience. Um, I find it a lot of fun in a weird way. Like it's not painful. There is a little bit of discomfort here and there when they're trying to flush a lot of stuff out. But you know that's just when it's your body's really trying to get rid of something. It's not awkward in there with another person. I had a really sweet lady. And they do this all the time, so you don't think of it as like that's awkward. Um, I actually feel a million times better afterwards. My mood is better. You feel a little bit brighter, happier. And that pain that I had in my lower stomach that no matter how healthy I was eating, I could not get rid of is now officially gone. So I think everyone should give it a go. And people that say it's disgusting to get all this stuff flushed out of you, I find it more disgusting that it's actually inside my body. I will prefer that I get rid of it as quick as possible instead of having it just sink, sitting there inside me for God knows how many years until my body decides to pass it or I gather up too much stuff and something needs to happen about it. So thank you guys so much for checking out my video. There's a lot of like points I could make on this. I could probably talk for a good chunk of time. But if you guys have any questions, if you're curious about colonics, that or you've had a colonic experience before, then please let me know in the comments below. And if you are in Brisbane, go check out Bottoms Up. They are really awesome. In the meantime, keep being strong, happy, and healthy. <laughs>